That's the end of the line. That's a long line. didn't look like this when I came here the last time. Wow, this is so quiet. It's eerie. This is not normally how Shinagawa is. Hey there, it's Ann Ming. Um, there's the announcement telling us to respect the coronavirus rules. It's all voluntary. I didn't have to prove that I needed to go somewhere. I didn't have to prove that I needed to go somewhere to get on that train. Uh, in some countries you need paperwork. This is a request from the government. Shinagawa. I barely come here. I almost never come here. I don't really have any reason to come here except immigration. Hey Shinagawa. So I went back to Shinagawa station to just wait here for a little while. Three o'clock. That's when I can go back. I got there at one. So that's how long the line is. There were just piles and piles of people there. Everybody's waiting outside. They don't want too many people crowding into the building and tons of people, absolutely tons of people have visa issues right now in Japan and all over the world. So there's probably more people going in there than usual. There were a lot, a lot, and especially because of the corona problems. Even me, I shouldn't even be here anymore. I would have been back in China a long time ago if this didn't happen, but yeah, I hope, uh, you know, like I said, I don't really live in America anymore. I don't have a house there. I don't have a car there. I don't have a job there. I'd have to just stay with my mom or something. Or they'd have to clear out a room for me for an indefinite period of time. It's, it would be best to stay here in Japan. At least I have an apartment and a better chance of getting back to China sooner. Thank you, Japan. <laughs> They're so reasonable. They've been so reasonable through this whole thing with my case. And they said today the result was I have enough. Somebody's getting in. There's still planes. Somebody's coming in. Well, that plane's not coming from America because <laughs> no Americans are allowed in here. Actually, like something like 76 countries are banned from coming in at this time. So. Yeah, my people aren't getting in, but I was over to here. This is probably the best place to wait out this corona chaos because there was no lockdown here. I completely escaped that somehow. I feel really lucky about that. Things are semi-normal here. Semi-normal, about as normal as you can get. And the rules weren't really strict. It was just kind of, you know, follow them, please, instead of police running around forcing people to follow the rules but then again Japan's situation was different from the beginning and it's also a, a series of islands so it's a lot easier to control things in that situation but they said I could extend my visa another three months which means I'll be here until September 15th and I, I mean that's the whole summer into the fall a little I hope I can get back and graduate before then but at least I have an apartment here I have a place to stay Dang. Somebody's still getting into Japan. There's flights. 
I think that China will definitely open to Japan first long before they open to America so staying here just makes a lot more sense. You might think, well, on Ming that's a heck of a lot of people. That's not a lot of people in Tokyo. <laughs> this is really empty right now. Before I leave though, I want to get one of these delicious dango or daifuku. Oh, so many choices. Okay, I'm gonna get four. Oh, hi, Sunny. Hi. Hi, Sunny. Oh, hi. Video is good. I'm not sure if it's 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 good. I got my snacks. They call this dango. Well, I think the ones on the sticks are dango. What I bought is uh, daifuku, which uh, is glutinous rice like dango, but it's got something on the inside. It's got a filling, anko, which is the bean paste. So it's quite different. I, he still called it dango, but I don't think that's what I bought. <laughs> anyway, it's delicious. I always buy the fruit flavored ones. <laughs> Too many people here. This is like the most densely populated city in the world, or at least one of them. It's up there. I haven't been down here in months, uh, but today was a necessity. Had to go to immigration. Yeah, it's pretty darn empty. I didn't buy any real food like meals, I just bought junk food again. Well, I do eat normal food too. <laughs> One of the coolest things about Japan is they have every flavor of Kit Kat you could possibly imagine. This is a purple sweet potato flavored Kit Kat and I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> oh that looks good too. Pokey. Kumamon. Even strawberry flavored Kit Kats. So this is supposed to be Kyushu. 
like Meibutsu, so famous Meisan, Kyushu Meisan, like famous foods from Kyushu. It's got Kumamon on it there, Yuru Kara. Basically, the mascot for Kyushu is Kumamon, the black bear with the little red cheeks. Yeah, that guy. He's even on the ramen packages. Wow. Maybe I should get some of this too. Get some instant ramen. Because apparently I'm going to be in Japan for a while. That looks like Hawthorne, but it's not. It looks like the stuff they have in China, but it's not. I don't know. Let's give it a try. Hi. Hi. Arigatou gozaimasu. I bought a lot of junk food today. What the heck? I've made it back home and it's time to try some of the goods I bought. Let's start with this. Actually, I bought this the other day. This is a sanshoku dango. So this is glutinous rice with flavoring inside and it's got three colors. I'm not going to eat them all, but let's try the pink one. Mmm. They call it sanshoku because it's got three colors. Mmm. <laughs> That's good stuff. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. All right, next one. Ooh. Purple sweet potatoes, okay. Purple sweet potato Kit Kats. It is indeed purple. I'm going to try it. Mmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it really does taste like a very sweet potato. That's so Japanese. Okay, and then I got some daifuku. This is orange flavored, matcha flavored. I got two orange flavored ones. This is strawberry. I want the strawberry one. It's got like flour on top of it. I think it's to keep it from sticking to the package. And this is again glutinous rice on the outside, but the inside's got some filling, usually anko uh, bean paste, sweet bean paste. Mmm. Mmm. This one's not anko. What is this? I don't know what's inside, but it's good. Mmm. <laughs> These are all very good wagashi Japanese snacks. Traditional Japanese snacks. Well, that's not traditional. But the other ones are very traditional Japanese snacks. Mmm. It's delicious. <laughs> you would think I just eat snacks all day. That's not true. 